Hey everyone, buckle in, grab a cup of coffee, because this is going to be a long one. So everybody, a little round of applause. Our Cooper is back, finally. Good to see Kyle McLaughlin get in there right away. He sort of, he like, didn't miss a beat. I felt like that was Cooper, ready to roll, ready to take action, ready to head down to Twin Peaks. He knows some stuff. Cooper knows stuff he knows what's happening maybe he's mentally linked with the doppelganger maybe he's known what was going to happen all along which i think is actually what's happening i'm going to zoom this back a little bit cooper seems to know what's up he seems to know exactly what to do i'm wondering if i mean he, the whole thing with uh creating another dougie uh the seed yes he asked yes, mike if he has a seed and he's going to make another dougie so i'm wondering if cooper made dougie in the first place i wonder if you know, tulpas are their Tibetan thing, and we all know how c crazy Cooper is about Tibet and Tibetan magic and mythology and stuff. So I'm wondering how much before he went into the Black Lodge in season two, how much did Cooper already have planned out? How much, what did he put in place before he went in? I'm starting to think maybe there's been a grand scheme, a grand plan for over 25 years. He was like lying in wait till the perfect moment when he can, you know, execute. So th that's just the theory I have. I, th I feel like there, there's just been a lot. I think so much of this has been premeditated. I feel like Cooper has had a plan since the original series. But I also think Doppel Cooper, Evil Cooper, having the same knowledge that we, we know they have sort of the same memory and the same thoughts. I think he also got the same idea and started creating Tulpas too. Uh, Diane seems to be Evil Cooper's Tulpa, possibly. That that wasn't too much of a shock. I felt like, I don't know, Diane was a little too hard. I mean, we know why she was a little too rough around the edges, but I'm wondering if Evil Cooper knows that Diane was a Tulpa. Uh, I'm thinking Cooper made all these Tulpas and he set them in place knowing that, uh, Evil Cooper, his doppelganger, would go after these people. So Diane being a tulpa doesn't surprise me. Um, him knowing about tulpas is definitely not a surprise. And it seems like there's probably tulpas all over the place. Uh, I think Cooper. This is my. I, this is my thought. I think Cooper knew what was going to happen, and he he's basically went and did this magic, and. With whatever knowledge he has, who knows? Cooper's a man of mystery. Uh, created all these sort of chess pieces um, and put them in place to protect the people he loves and to protect himself because Dougie, I mean, I think Dougie was there to, to protect Janie E and Sonny Jim because she is Diane's sister. And I think they were. he was just sort of... Uh, dotting all his I's and crossing his T's when it comes to people that are close to him. He didn't want Diane to get hurt. He didn't want Diane's sister to get hurt through, like, Diane. So I'm thinking Cooper had so much of this planned. I'm thinking a lot of this, and that fills me with, I feel so much joy in this episode. Other than that, we could deep dive into Tulpas. I'm probably going to do a stream Monday. Uh, what What is the date? Monday, August 28th. Um, Today is the 27th when I'm filming this. I'm going to do a stream where I go further in depth, so stay tuned for that. So this episode, we also saw a lot of a lot of the bad guys disappear. It's funny because I kind of predicted the way Richard was going to go. I saw him going to the mountain, uh, that little rock, and I was like, he's going to get zapped. For some reason, I thought lightning was going to strike him, and he did get zapped in a way. So goodbye, Richard. We Now we definitely know that he is uh, Evil Cooper's son. Not, not that much of a surprise. We figured that way early. Um, and, you know, he, he was born through an unsavory, uh, taboo, very disheartening sort of way from what we learned from Diane's story, um, which was also really sad. But the Tulpa seems to have memories of Diane. And this this is the part that, that's getting me. Did Bob create Doppelcooper? Tulpa, we're assuming, I'm assuming the doppelgangers are Tulpas. I don't know if they're different. I, I'm thinking they're one and the same, but I'm wondering if Bob created Doppel Cooper's Tulpa or somebody else did, uh, but it'd be, it'd be interesting to, 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 to ponder that. So yeah, about uh, Chantel and the other dude, they got you know mowed down 
Uh, that scene was really funny with Wilson and the FBI watching this all go down. Did nothing until two people were dead and the van was on fire. And the so th those two are gone. Two other terrible people. So we're just sort of knocking them off the list now. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of happiness in there. A lot of good happening. But there is some concern. The Mitchum brothers also want to pay some give some love to the Mitchum brothers let's just talk about Cooper a little bit more because that scene was it was just so so beautiful and I, I love Cooper's you know his approach to Sonny Jim and Janie E which definitely made me tear up because that was I felt it I felt, oh, uh, and his like appreciation for his boss and and the Mitchum brothers who he, he knows are good guys at the end of the day. They they have good intentions in, in their hearts, in their heart of hearts. They have good intention, intentions, and Dougie Cooper saw that. And I love how Cooper is going to make a Dougie for Janie E and Sonny Jim, hopefully identical to, you know, himself in, in mannerisms and, you know, everything else. <laughs> but of course, we have to talk uh, about Audrey. Um, we got a good sampling of the original, you know, Twin Peaks soundtrack where you have the theme song in the middle of the episode once Cooper is up and walking around. We get the theme. We get, uh, I, th we, I believe we get some of the, the song from the end of Fire Walk With Me. I don't, I can't recall the name of the track, the composition, but we get some of that. And then we get Audrey's, Audrey's dance, which was, you know, I was super excited because I thought, this was gonna wake Audrey up from whatever kind of thing she's in. I guess it did, in a way. Uh, the violence kind of triggered her and she woke up. And what did she wake up into? I don't know, white room, mirror. Not sure where that is. Maybe it's the White Lodge. Maybe it's some kind of holding cell. Maybe it's some kind of, um, some kind of ward, psych ward. I don't know. Uh, of course, we're going to theorize about all this. The live streams are so much better for pontificating. So tomorrow, guys, I promise I will be on probably 7 p.m. Eastern time. <sighs> this was a whopper of an episode. So much happened. I, my heart is full. <laughs> um, I'm going to get super sappy about it. My heart is... Once I saw Cooper come back uh, I, and, and like sort of jump into action, know exactly what to do and what's going on and how to talk to Sunny Jim and... Janie E warmed my heart. And uh, I could see that Evil Cooper is getting a, a little um, anxious. He, he comes close to death a couple, time, uh, a couple times already. Um, the, the weird thing was in this episode was when he sent the, te when he sent the text message with the f smiley face all, it said not delivered. And then Diane gets that message i guess i mean i don't know if that's me nitpicking but uh maybe he's not sending the messages after all who knows so yeah guys what do you think about this whole tulpa situation i feel like this episode i'm so by the way i'm so glad diane tulpa diane did not kill gordon or albert or tammy well we know tammy probably won't get you know she's probably okay in the season because she puts together the, the secret history of Twin Peaks dossier, but I've been worried about Albert. I felt like Albert, I don't know, I've had a weird feeling about Albert all season, but he's okay for now. But we're on our way to Twin Peaks. We're on, our, Cooper is on his way. He's coming as fast as he can. The FBI can't seem to catch up with him. He's Now he's one step ahead of everybody. And he has been this whole season in a weird way. And I wonder how much, how cognizant he was of everything happening. Maybe he was just like sort of just there behind the, behind the wheel. It was autopilot, but he was taking everything in. So I, the thing that's intriguing me so much about this episode, how much Cooper had planned out since the beginning. I know I, but this is it's like in my mind right now, and this is like my initial reaction video. So please let me know what your thoughts are on this whole Cooper plan thing. Um, him knowing about Tulpas, he like knew right away. This is the seed. He was like commanding Mike almost. Has has did Cooper become like the king of of the Black Lodge or the waiting room or the red room, whatever you want to call it? It's it's you know it's where in the timeline does Cooper waking up take place? I think there's like probably some sort of like electricity thing 
big theme in this episode, big uh, word r- repeated a couple times, electricity happening that you could probably line it up, I'm assuming. But also that, that tone, the tone that we hear um, in the Great Northern, the one we heard in the hospital, I think that frequency is the tone of healing. But I'm not positive, so don't, don't quote me on that. Uh, I do believe it is the tone of healing, uh, you know, when in sort of meditation and Reiki se- uh, sessions and you know chakras, they do we they use a lot of tuning forks and stuff like that. They bang tuning forks and it lets out a frequency. And each frequency means something different. Um, again, I don't have this frequency. I don't. I didn't do any measurements or anything, so I'm not sure. But I feel like it is the frequency of healing, maybe the frequency of love and hope, uh, or I'm not sure, but I, I think it is. I think it is a good frequency. It is not a bad one. So when we hear it in the boiler room when James goes to check, I don't think it's something bad. I think it's it's something good. It's almost like a calling, almost. It's setting pieces in place because I think the next thing we see with James, I don't think it's anything about the boiler room. I think it's just the sound. Uh, I think the the next thing we have is James and his friend walking. In, I believe Freddie is his name, walking into the bar and you know punching the guys out and ending up in jail, which is where they need to be, right now. I believe strongly believe uh, everything is sort of put it, getting put into place. All the pieces are getting set in place. Cooper's on his way there, and Evil Cooper is probably very close. We're gonna get uh, some crazy stuff happening in next two hours next week is it that's it guys until until we get the the final the final dossier in october that's going to be it for twin peaks unless they have a season four plan but i'm not you know i i'll I'll be okay if this is it at least we're getting to see cooper in action which you know does 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 my my heart it does it does it, it does it a lot of good i feel all warm and tingly and stuff it's just the show is so beautiful and so great and it, it really tugs at the heartstrings and makes you think. And it, you know, creates, it, it's created this such a beautiful community. And it's, it, there's just a lot of good messages. And uh, I could go on. And I know you all know this. But I'm going to leave it there. This video was already kind of long. Again, we're going to have a more in-depth dis- discussion tomorrow, Monday, August 20, 28th. So if you're watching this after the fact and you missed the stream, I apologize. You'll probably be able to go back and watch that. But again, if you're a fan of the show, Twin Peaks, if you're a fan of weird TV shows, movies, etc., follow me, subscribe to me here. We'll talk about all that stuff. You'll get to know when the streams are going to happen and you can join in the conversation. They're a lot of fun. Let me know your thoughts on the episode. I know you will. Uh, Let me know if you agree with what I say, if you think... I'm silly. Uh, if you think I have no idea what I'm talking about, I, I'm curious. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in for uh, 16 hours of this now plus because I've done other streams. This has been a crazy, crazy ride. And I feel like the next two hours are going to be unforgettable. Unforgettable. See you later.